Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, big. There we go. Alright guys, we're going to get right into it with this video. On this day, we headed offshore a couple miles to a nearshore reef in about 25 to 30 feet of water. Uh, we started the day off fishing with shrimp on the bottom for whatever we could catch really. Uh, we only caught a few little snapper, little grunts, uh, one decent sheep's head. But after a while doing that, we saw a school of thousands of fish, so we quickly switched up tactics. Uh, I'll let you guys get to it and make sure to subscribe and like the video. Oh yeah. Come on, come back. Oh, they're all over it. A million of them. Oh, there it is. <laughs> These are good size ones. Yeah, that was a good one. Two, three. There's a bunch of them following. Oh, there's so many. You would think a shark would come. Oh, there. Oh, call. Look at them. Wait for one in distress. Doubled up. Oof. All right, I'm gonna do another one. Oh yeah, I just I saw some crazy teeth. All right, where'd they go? Little jagged ones. You think that would cut you off? I don't know. All right, where'd they go? There they are behind us. Oh, they're everywhere, I think. Look how they're like boil up on the surface. He destroyed mine. Immediately. Holy destroyed mine. What I'm following? Big one. Yeah, I don't know. Where is like a shark after this guy? Get that shark that's off to the side. Oh, right on. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I should put the big one, the one I have on a hook in the stool of them. See what's following them. Oh, he messed up my thing here. You would think a shark would be like waiting. Or a barracuda. Something. Look at that. That is a school of jacks right there. All under the boat. So yeah, as you can see, we came across a massive school of jack revol. I mean, there are probably thousands out there. You can't really see them all in this video, but I thought this would be some cool drone footage to show you guys of catching one and then seeing how they all follow them all the way to the boat almost. We were really hoping we'd find some sharks or maybe some cobia following them, but we did not. But it was a good time catching these guys, that's for sure. Yep. <laughs> it is funny how it wasn't raid right and they wouldn't hit it. Yeah, it should work. Yeah, be a good test.
which usually means they're snook. I don't want to tie it whenever I got tied in last time. So there's no dread on this. I'm never gonna hook him with this giant hook. Oh, big! There we go. <laughs> cool. All right, that's not bad. Not a bad grouper. Felt giant when he hit. Look the blue on him. Groupers are. They hit real hard they, like that. Strong fish. For like a second, and then they just give up. Yeah. This is a spot where there'll just be a Goliath under there. And he is a boy. Yeah. And you're never gonna catch him. Not unless you had like a big eight inch red fin. And you just gotta have a drag that's locked down and Oh! Oh! Oh, get out! <laughs> Another one. A no, a snapper. They keep getting me in structure down there. Oh, multi-species. Get out of there. As soon as I switched up to the circle hook, I started hooking From up. What? From a jig. Well, I think getting it to the bottom is important. Maybe. Yeah, there you go.